Multiple FBI investigations are underway involving potential corrupt charges against the Clinton Foundation, according to a former senior law enforcement official. The investigation centers on New York City where the Clinton Foundation has its main offices. Ah, you got it? You you guys see what I'm saying? Are you are you with me? Pound it out. Give me that. G- give it to me. Bam. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Woo. The investigation centers on New York City where the Clinton Foundation has its main offices, according to the former official who has direct knowledge of the activities. Prosecutorial support will come from various U.S. attorney's offices, a major departure from other centralized FBI investigations. That's right. In your face, FBI. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We don't need you. We don't need you. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Sit down. Boop, 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 boop. Have a seat. Boop, 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 boop. We don't need you, FBI. We will do this on our own. You want something right, do it yourself. The New York-based probe is being led by Preet Bahara, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Bahara's prosecutorial aggressiveness. He a pit bull. Give me corruption. Give me corruption. Corruption. That's my man. All right? has resulted in a large number of convictions of banks, hedge funds, and Wall Street insiders. See, Preet, he loves this. This is what he lived for. He lives to do this. He got a big D on his chest for destroy, destroy ya. Preet is the man. He takes, he relishes bringing down corrupt banks, Wall Street insiders doing that insider trading. He loves it. He lives for it. It's euphoric. It's like smoking them 29 blunts that was under that floor mat. Or the 44 blunts. He loves it. The official said involvement of the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York would would be seen by agents as a positive development as prosecutors there are generally thought to be more aggressive than the career lawyers within the DOJ. DOJ lawyers... Well, we can't do that. We got to be much careful because, you know, we don't want to make waves. I'd like to get a promotion at some point. I got to do something with my Hager slacks. Got to have a place to wear them. My Docker slacks got to be able to wear those things. And a <laughs> little bit different when you're independent state. It's like, dude, I just go to private practice make all the money I want to make, baby. You ever heard of Johnny Cochran, motherfucker? Baharo's official biography notes that he has applied renewed focus on large-scale sophisticated financial frauds by creating two new units. The complex frauds unit has collected close to $500 million in settlements since its inception, including multi-million dollar settlements with Deutsche Bank and City Mortgage for faulty lending practices and other fraudulent conduct. I love this guy already. I need this guy on my show. Preet Bahara. My type of brother. He's the head of the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York and has a history of taking down big-time banks and politicians. Bahara has prosecuted diplomats and 100 Wall Street executives. He has reached historic settlements and fines with the four largest banks in the U.S. and closed multi-billion dollar hedge funds. He has prosecuted New York state politicians, including the Speaker of the House, Sheldon Silver, and the Majority Leader of the Senate, both Democrats, and at one time even threatened to take on the Governor of New York. We're investigating corruption in, in every place you can imagine one might find it in the legislature, in unions, as we see today, in the executive branch, and I was making a broad and general point, deliberately lacking in specificity, 